Hi, guys. Uh, I've got Charles in here with me. We're talking about something that he found. Uh, I don't know if he meant to find it, but he found it. And it's pretty it's cool, pretty cool. So, Charles, take it away. Yeah, I had this idea that, um, well, we all talk about how things are that are conducted and things that aren't. I forget that the earth is a pretty good conductor if we had a way to uh, uh, make connections to it. And um, so I, I assumed that by driving a ground rod uh, near my house grounding rod and that uh, if I connected a uh, light bulb to that lead that it would connect back it would connect conduct through the ground to the house electrode and complete the circuit and light the light bulb the experiment starts with uh, two ground rods driven very close together right next to my house foundation uh, one obviously is the ground rod for my house electrical system right uh, the other one was just uh, uh, an orphan ground rod that I drove 14 inches away and they're both driven to eight feet. Uh, uh, I connected my light bulb to the one that was not connected to my house grounding system and I expected to see the current flow through the ground to that connected ground rod, but it did not do that. Um, uh, so then I started isolating things, started isolating my house ground system uh, from it and the light bulb still lit. Uh, so then I drove uh, a ground rod 20 feet away from the house and it still lit. Um, so that was kind of the um, basics of, uh, uh, of what I did with the different experiments. And all the time, of course, I'm testing other possible places the current could be returning to my house system, um, the water pipe ground, um, <clears throat> which tested as not having any voltage or amperage, um, nothing metallic in my house. All my metallic systems are all bonded together and the sewer pipe, the uh, gas pipe, nothing uh, tested as energized and providing a path back to my panel uh, to get back to the transformer. So how it's getting back to the transformer, it's pretty much left with it's finding its way through the earth somewhere. And, and we're going to see that uh, right here. So let's, let's look at it. This rod is the house ground rod. And you can see where I have, I've taped up the end of the, the rod and I slid the acorn clamp up in the taped area so that the, my ground wire to my panel is now isolated from that ground rod. Correct. And uh, you can see I've got the uh, light bulb neutral clamp to that rod and it is working just fine. Now, now you got to keep in mind that the, the wattage on this bulb is really, really small. I use, I'm using a seven watt light bulb. Um, uh, LED and I use the LED because it has this white bulb that shows up that it's working a lot easier than a regular incandescent does but the regular incandescent light says well it's just harder harder to find a low enough wattage light bulb uh, to light up yeah so in this drawing you can see we have um, uh, two like two uh, ground rods driven and uh, you can see there's a little squiggly uh, red line between the two that's the idea that the current would flow from the light bulb through the ground rod across the ground to the other ground rod and back to the panel to complete the circuit um, what i did was I, uh, I connected that light bulb to just the hot side and then I didn't connect the ground, the neutral from, the, it normally would connect to, I bypassed it and connected it to, directly to the ground rod. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What you're saying is you, you, you hooked up a light bulb and plugged one side into the hot lead on an extension cord? Yes, that's right. That's and right. then the other one, you connected it to a ground rod which would be the other side of the extension cord and you made the light bulb glow. 
it wasn't involved with the extension cord at all. That the, new, the, the white line going from the light bulb to the ground rod uh, isn't involved with the extension cord at it all. It didn't. It, it it you left that up. You left the neutral side open. That's right. And, and got the light bulb to shine. That's right. The light. I expected the light bulb to light up, but what I didn't expect was that. Uh, what I was surprised by was that it did not go to the close by ground rod of the house, uh, 14 inches apart, and it was choosing a different path back to the transformer for some reason. That's crazy. And, yeah, yeah. So let's, then, go, let's go look at that. All right. All right, let's go. All right, so here we are on Charles's video. So what do we have? Well, here you can see the light bulb is clearly lit up. That white wire you can see comes off of the uh, the neutral prong of the, the light bulb and the hot prong is uh, plugged into the hot side. You can see the neutral side is completely open. Right here. And the neutral side is open. Right. So the current has no place to flow except through the ground, the neutral wire uh, to the ground rod uh, and then back to the transformer. Um, and the light bulb is on and we'll stop it right here and see that this, this line, the white line runs around and is, a, is attached to a ground rod driven into the ground. So you see your garden hose here and we'll just keep running the video here. Charles, what, you, what, what, what we have here? Yeah, so uh, at this point, uh, this ground rod is a different ground rod than the one I drove 14 inches uh, away from the house ground rod. What I did then is I disconnected the uh, house ground wire. Uh, that left the only system grounding for the house at a water pipe uh, another 10 feet away. But this rod is about 20 feet from my house. So, uh, so the so the rod we just saw is twenty feet away from your home. That's right. And uh, in order to get the light bulb to run, there has to be current in the ground. That's and right. And you're testing that current with this tester here at one foot away. Is that right? That's right. All and right. So let's run it. the video. So it's beeping. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that in the video, but it is definitely beeping. At two foot, he's right at the base of the. Uh, looks what looks like a bird feeder at three feet it's beeping he's still energized at four feet it's just going off to beat the band at six feet it's still going off and where are you here you're seven yeah. feet away seven feet away yeah so that's got to be what the side of your house no, that's further away from the house. This is another oh, it's getting further away from the home. Yeah. So, so at this point, feet away. yeah. So let's uh, let's stop the share here for a second and come come back to to ground to. <laughs> I'm I'm like in no man's land here trying to figure out what what's going on. So as you were testing that, you were actually moving further and further away from any type of source. So you were um, seven feet from. Well, I might have been getting closer to where it's actually going as opposed to it's going to a house. I don't know. There's a lot. I, I can't answer the question of uh, really where this current is going ultimately. I think it's going to lots of different places, possibly my neighbor's house, possibly other neighbor's houses, uh, and, and, and getting to the point where it really isn't measurable at any one of those uh, points. It, it was not measurable at the ground wire for the transformer that serves my house. So uh, it wasn't finding its way there or, or, or only a, a small part that I couldn't read. Uh, right, right, right. So the implications of that are um, maybe, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to think about how that's the, how this power source is, is energizing the ground. And I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if there is like a utility pole that, uh, or maybe there's, there's an underground wire. What, what's happening with your wiring on your house? Your house is fed above ground or underground? 
above ground. Above ground. So it can't be something nicked in the ground as an underground feed to your house that might be causing well, they, this. But you see, the earth is an infinite number of parallel paths. So when you stick a, an energized uh, point into the ground, it has an infinite infinite choices of getting back to where it needs to get back to. Uh, so I can't, I can't figure that part out. But what I thought was interesting was that uh, I, I wanted to eliminate um, my house grounding system as an option for it to get back. And uh, there was nothing, I, you know, and I shut off all the power in my house except that one circuit that powered that light bulb and could find nothing on the neutral wire coming into my panel um, or, or leaving the panel. <laughs> you know, it, the, the circuit was not being completed uh, through Interesting. my uh, house ground system. I've got to, I've got to ask you, how did you, how did you find this? I mean, what, you were experimenting with something? How did, how did you run into this situation? Well, I just wanted to, I wanted to show uh, how fantastic it was that um, you could drive two ground rods close together and it would find its way through that ground uh, to the other ground rod and back to the panel. What, what was surprising was that it picked other paths. It didn't go the easiest, quickest route. I don't know why. Very interesting. Yeah. Stay tuned. We <laughs> will soon we, have the answer. <laughs> maybe we can figure it out. And don't try this at home. So, yeah, the, it's you, enough to kill you. We just certainly didn't want to try it at home. Yeah, keep in mind that um, the low wattage bulb I was running is only uh, 0.11 amps, so that's not very much. But it only takes between 0.1 and 0.2 amps uh, can be lethal. So. You do not want to do this at home. This is a very controlled uh, experiment. Uh, uh, it can only be performed by home inspectors. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure you want to go there. But <laughs> <laughs> that's, nah, that's too far. That's a bit of a stretch. But if you know the answer to why the light bulb burns on only plugged into one side of an extension cord leave some comments yeah and why why the uh, neutral current uh, returns to the transform uh, via the ground as opposed to my panel uh, which is much closer than the transformer ground is or my neighbor's ground for that matter so for um, Charles Buell and Gary Smith Hang in there. Talk soon.